All the chapter sides, everything. Okay? And I decide when the meeting is over. You want to give orders <clears throat> to Thomas Shelby? He's gonna make you pay for that. Good boy. Amsterdam Tram, which one is gonna be the first one that would die? I was angry with my friend. I told my rough. My rough did end. I was angry with my foe. I told it not. My rough can grow. You're mocking him. Thanks for the poison tree. Not with your blood. My friend, the police commissioner told me that he'd spoken to his FBI liaison officer. There is an informant in your organization in South Boston. I'll tell you this in the spirit of corporate hygiene. Aha! <laughs> you can't live just like that. <laughs> Tommy, 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 you didn't change. <laughs> ah! Love you. Pigeons. Is it symbolic? In France, we are calling pigeons people that we can use, you know, which are little stupid. God, if Polly was still here, she'd never let her get this bad. Come on. I'm not Polly, but I am still your fucking sister. You swore to me you would stop using. Every day is a question without an answer. Hey, down. You're gonna be alright. You're always gonna be alright, my dear. All of us. We do. The same way it's been since Polly died. No more Polly. No more whiskey. No more Tommy. We don't want him to be back with whiskey. But maybe he's a little empty, yes. There's a boat leaving the island now, heading across the border. A man named Michael Gray on the board of Philadelphia, Boston. Inside the briefcase is five pounds of pure, refined opium. You snitch! Concerned citizen. Carl, you're gonna be the new rookie of the Chelsea family? So? You're going to run today? No, I don't work for him anymore. Can I <laughs> You're gonna do it. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Always a good answer. When was the last time that you were okay? Thomas Shelby says don't serve him opium ever again. Or someone will write Arthur Shelby's name on your chest with a bayonet. Oh! She's so good! Polly would be proud of you, Ada. But you have your own step. Like everything else in this city, it's now of your own job. I already talked to him. He told me what the devil proposed. No. Tommy Shelby wants to do business with Jack Wilson. There are deals being made at a high level, but there are some people at the middle level and lower levels who cannot be trusted. My God, this sounds fucking... Shut up and listen. I'm guessing that the informant was the one who tipped off the police about me. Yes. Then the devil's plan has already begun. In today's paper, you're worried about a man being fished out of the Boston Harbor with bleeding out a tattoo and the name Maria written on his arm. Yeah, I know. I read it already. <laughs> His death will lead to others. There are plenty of men who can supply powder all over the world. I don't understand why it needs to be him. Well, it's personal revenge. Some of my business with Tommy Shelby is unfinished. This is my opportunity to finish it. This season is going to be about that. So I'll speak to you, I'll come get me the fuck out of here. My police art is gonna suffer during all of this season. Have a fucking drink. No. You really made a promise with that because yeah. all of them they are tempting him with it, but it doesn't feel like a temptation for him. It's just like, no. And before you tell me what you want me to tell him, I have a message from him too. Ah. No deal. In England, when someone gets this close to Tommy Shelby, it's oh, the heart, oh, the desire to fall on your knees, open your mouth, and say, Yes, sir. Please, sir. 
You want to tell him that you're not impressed? Why saying it? You know that she's gonna tell me you want that? You wanted to have his attention. You wanted his attention to prove your point and to prove yourself. Balance of power to the Irish, the Jewish, and the Italians, which shift heavily in favor of the East. I have excellent contacts with the family that runs East Boston. Solomon's family. Do you believe in too bad? Talk to Polly, she's gonna talk with you. <laughs> the spirit, <laughs> I can deal with it. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. I cannot. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. <laughs> yes, it's back with all of them. I mean, almost all of them. We're gonna come back to that. With the mood, with the characters, with their defaults, with their qualities, with all of what this show is good at and with historic stuff, with a big time jump, with characters against each other, with fighting for powers, with fighting for money, with personal issues, with stuff like that. Everything that we love in Two Peaky Blinders. Now let's talk about the elephant into the room. How they dealt with the actress dying and the character disappearing. I'm gonna try my best to talk about it without crying. It's not gonna be easy for me, so please don't judge me too quick with that. They, they had to make the character disappear. They had to make it right to honor the character and to honor the actress. I think that they did it pretty, pretty well because they didn't make that time jump that we are used to have at the beginning of each season. Nope. They took the time to make a real deal with her death and to use it into the story and to make it important for all of the characters during the moment but also the consequences of it for the characters. Her death into the show of this actress, they gave an homage, you know, to the death of that actress through the death of that character because they made it important not only by creating a situation with her death, a situation which is logical and which is important, not only because they made an entire scene with it, with a ceremony like that, which is a really good end for that character with all her fam family reunited. That moment really broke me, but they made it also important because because of that we're gonna have characters against characters that war between Tommy and Michael which is gonna continue, which is gonna be amplified because one wants the revenge for her death is wrong, but you won't see it. And the consequences on Tommy, who stopped to, to drink, and the consequences who stopped to drink and who stopped to be himself, also according to his wife. But it had also consequences, surely for Arthur, surely for Ada, who dealt with the situation by continuing to be themselves, but even more than usually, which means that Arthur is destroying himself even more than usually, which means that Ada is taking care of that family even more than usually. <laughs> but also, because she's gonna be there, our ghost, our spirit is gonna be there all along the season. Like, for sure it was there all along the episode because they kept talking about her, about how proud she would be or not, how she would deal with the situation or not what she would do and for Tommy it's more than that because he's hearing her voice and he's seeing her you know doing stuff like the situation with Ruby the fact that she could talk gypsy and what she said and what it could mean and for Tommy it was Polly talking to him in a way warning him of a threat I can't remember, I mean, I think that I should know what that sentence in Gypsy in Romani would mean. I'm sorry to not remember it right now, so please tell me that on the comments, what it meant. For me it was a threat for sure. But yes, Polly is there. They are giving that homage to her, you know, into that episode with that logical death with that ceremony which is brilliant and emotional with that consequence for the show because it's a war between Michael and Tommy for all of the season and that's gonna be really emotional, really something and it's because of Polly and because they are keeping her alive by making her spirit 
floating on them like that I cried a lot at the beginning I had some tears coming sometimes during the episode because of that it's gonna be difficult for me to control myself during the next episode with that we'll see how I'm gonna deal with the situation but I'm glad because it's a good way to deal with the situation in my opinion so we have Ada, we still Ada, and we're taking care of everyone. Even if she doesn't want to be a part of this family, she is, like always. I'm not scared for her. Ada is gonna survive to everything. She has to. She can be the one to survive to everything. She's clever, she's brave, but she's not really into the things like, I want her to survive to everything. Also, when was the last time that we saw Arthur being alright? When was it? Like, I can't remember. The last time that we saw him being okay, being good. Can we have that for him at some point during this season? Can it be possible? Or is it gonna be something like he has nothing to lose anymore so he's gonna sacrifice himself at some point during one scene? Like, no! He deserves to be better. Before that, at least <laughs> a little. We'll see. Where is Finn? My baby. My baby Finn. Where is he? Carl? Are you gonna represent the future of the Charbis family? Like the fact that he was right there into that room, that desk, in front of that desk, you know, like it's implying that he can be the future of this family. And we know that this is the last season, and I said it in intro, I'm afraid of it, but we know, we can feel that we're gonna say goodbye to these characters that we love. So it could be great to have that at the end, like the future of this family. And we have all of these kids, you know, who can represent also the future of this family. Legally or not, <laughs> they're gonna be the future of this family. This show, it's about the Peaky Blinders. It's about the Charbis. We'll see. Tommy not drinking. For me it's great. I want him to be okay into his mind. Is he really? They're implying that it's just acting. You know, it's just an act. That is like that, is okay, not drinking, being alright, trying to be a better person and all. But they're implying that he's just trying and that maybe he never dealt really with all of what happened. I want to think the contrary, I want to think that he dealt with it like he wants to, to do things right, he wants to be a better man, he's really trying hard to be. You know, like that scene with the French guys can be about that. I want to think that it's the truth. But I think that I know in my heart that they are right, that he didn't deal with the situation, not really. It's not because of that that you're gonna kill yourself. Go find Grace. I know that she's the love of his life, that she always was, always gonna be. I know that, I'm not against it, I'm just saying that I didn't appreciate the girl and that she was... No! <laughs> like no 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 and no go watch my reaction videos like I binge watched all of this show with you guys so you have all of my thoughts about her during all of the first and the second season and after that so go watch that if you want to, to know why I'm not a fan of her you now what you're not gonna join her at least not right now we need you especially because you have all of this business going on with opium with Making a deal with who in Boston? We don't know yet. Are you gonna make a deal with our uncle? With all of them? No, not with all of them. What he did, you know, with Michael arresting him and using him being arrested to make a deal, at least to prove your point to our uncle, it was really well done because in one action you had two things. Michael being arrested for some time and to prove who you are to this guy. 
Gina, can we use her? Can we really manipulate her? She's a clever girl, so I'm not gonna count on it. Like, not so easily. I want to see that happening, really. And then uh, I would be sure that maybe she's not acting in fact for my girl. And my girl being arrested like that, like, you know that he's gonna be released at some point. You know that you're gonna have to deal with that. He already wants revenge for a personal thing, now he's gonna want revenge for a professional thing. A war between these two, it feels logical. But it's awful. Polly wouldn't want that, for sure. And I don't want that, for sure, because you're part of the same family. And with all of your story, Michael, do you really want to be out of this family, in fact? I'm gonna cry. I love this family so much. It's killing me to imagine members of this family killing each other. Even if they have a story, a past, a background, they want revenge, I understand their reasons. Even if all of that, they are members of the same family and it's gonna kill me to see them being against each other that much that they want to kill each other. Can we find another solution? Please. <laughs> we'll see. And we're gonna see that next week. Again, you have that reaction video on Patreon. And for all of the other episodes of this season 6, you're gonna have them right on time on Tuesday on YouTube. I don't fucking know. Because I don't fucking know how YouTube is gonna deal with the situation, more how the owners of the show are gonna deal with the situation on YouTube this year for the previous season. It was blocked, no matter what, entirely, fully, no matter how much, how many times I tried, it was blocked. And it's only when the show was on Netflix that I could post my videos about it. The tips were blocked, but at least you had access to it, so maybe it's gonna be the case also for this season 6. I can't know that, I'm gonna try once like with the versions that I prepared respecting the fair use rules. More than that if I need, but at some point maybe I'm gonna be forced to say stop and to tell you to join my Patreon if you want to have the videos right on time. If not, you have to wait to have the show on Netflix to have the reaction videos on my channel. It's like that. I know it. I'm preparing myself mentally for that. We'll see how it's gonna be. Okay, so it's all for you and for me for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.